guys, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the basics of making a game like RuneScape in a free program called Blender. If you're not familiar with it, I suggest that you get familiar with it. It's slightly complicated. You can download it for free at blender.org. Okay, so when you first open it, you will see a square, a camera, and a lamp. Look at my other tutorial my first two tutorials uh, for more on that. But for now, I'm just going to teach you about games. Now, this is the editing tab, because you can design games in Blender. We're just going to make this cube, like, move around. So yeah, this is the editing tab, and I think I'm going to s name it Player, because that's what it is. Okay. And I think we're going to go to Materials tab and make it red. So we're going to go to the Logic panel, Pac-Man figure. I'm going to scroll all the way down so that this whole thing fits on the screen. We'll worry about that later in the tutorial. For now, just add some Logic bricks. Which is, these are Logic bricks, okay? Now we have sensors, which is, it, it's like cause and effect. This is the cause, so let's just do keyboard. We have all these things, so let's just do keyboard. So the cause will be when you press the up arrow. And make sure that you connect these. And the controller just kind of keeps the flow going. And then effect is going to be, we're going to move the cube. The cube's going to move in an in up direction. So x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. Okay, and in the animation tutorial, loc is location and ro is rotation. We want it to move, which is loc. Okay, so I want it to move along the y-axis at the speed of like 0.20. And if we want, we can move it negative along the y-axis, which, which will make it move downward. But I don't want to, so speed of 0.20. Okay, now I'm going to hit P to play. Or to preview. It'll take a little while to load the first one. Okay, this is our game. Ready? This is our game. That's all we can do in our game so far, though. So it's not that great. So add some more logic bricks. Now I'm going to do keyboard. Down. I want it to move negative. If I'm going a little too fast, just send me a private message and I'll make sure that you know what you need. Okay, and now P. Ooh. And I will only respond to private messages from subscribers. Okay? Now here's what we're going to do. Add two more sets of logic bricks. Now, make this keyboard, and do right arrow, and make this one rotate along the z-axis so that it can turn. So at the speed of, like, neg it'll rotate negative point zero five. that I've learned is a pretty good speed. So, and for the other one, just do the same thing, except make it left arrow, and do positive 0.5. Now, we can't only move like that, but we can also turn. Isn't that cool? Okay. Now to make it more game-like. So we're gonna hit, we're on top view right now, looking at this object from the top. Just hit three, numpad three to go into the side view. And hit add, mesh, plane. Spacebar, add mesh, plane. And size it up a little. And we're gonna hit G. We're gonna select the cube, hit G, Z, and right, right up there. Okay, and I'm going to size up this plane a little bit. And 
I think I'm gonna come down here and make it like blue. Okay. It's nice. Now for the camera, which we will be using. Hit G to grab it. Numpad 3 to, you know, do stuff. Angle it. Now hit 0 to go into your camera view. And you can actually just do it from there. So you get a good view of the cube that you want. Experiment. Okay. Okay, and now hit shift and right click on each of them to hold shift and right click each of them to select the both. And then control P, which will make them parent. And parent just means that they'll move together and stuff, so hit zero to go back in the code view. Then when we play our game, it's all cool, like a regular RuneScape game would be. And I don't play RuneScape, I play World of Warcraft if you haven't seen. But, um, so there's a problem here. Look, we can go straight off and nothing will happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit three to go in the side view and select our plane. I'm going to go into edit mode, and I'll teach you more about what I'm doing in the next tutorial, which is editing. And hit E to extrude, bring it down. Okay. And now I'm going to go back into logic mode, select my cube, go back into logics. The reason it didn't fall was because it's static, which means gravity doesn't have effect on it. Make it dynamic. Now, the damper it is, the less, the um, slower it'll fall. So make sure, just leave it at the speed it is. And I want you to, like, try to experiment with all this stuff. Make sure it's an actor, though. And make sure you're in camera view, and now let's see. Yay! So, I pretty much just taught you about Blender games. Like here, if we go into side view then play again. Here. It'll it'll like fall and we can see. Alright. Let's see how this looks in top view. Hold on. Oh, huh, it disappears, whatever. And hit escape to get out of your game. So yeah. That's pretty much Blender Games for you. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.